Hello everybody, this is Jeanette. Welcome to the Neal's Homestead. Uh, after I made my catfish filleting video, I had a couple people ask me to do a video about the way we like to cook and eat the catfish, our favorite way. And so that's what this video is going to be about today. Thanks for joining me. After I fillet the fish, I put it in some heavily salted water in a container like this. I put it in the refrigerator and I like to leave it there overnight. And whenever I'm ready to cook it then, I'll just uh, drain the salt water off and rinse the fish well. After I get it rinsed off and drained pretty well, then I'll just lay it on a cutting board. And the way we like it is to cut into smaller pieces instead of frying the whole fillet, which is a perfectly fine thing to do, but I feel like if I cut it up into sections like this, that the whole thing gets a little more crispy and just we enjoy it more that way with an extra crispiness to it. Now the two end pieces I might leave a little bit bigger because they're thinner generally and uh, just smaller. I don't want them to be so thin that they will just dry out. I want them to be nice and flaky and, and good inside but crispy on the outside. And then these are the two belly pieces that I'll just leave the size they are. So I stepped over to the sink and I washed my hands and then I'm going to take some salt and sprinkle over all of the pieces. You know, I soak them in salt water, but it doesn't penetrate to the inside of it. So I rinse the salt water off and I want some more salt. And then what I like to use is corn flour. I buy this out of my local Amish bulk food store uh, and I just buy it by a big bag because this is what I like to fry fish in. I don't usually fry um, chicken in it or anything. But what I'll do is just put some of that into the bowl I have here. And it doesn't take a lot. It goes a long way. I try not to use more than I will need, which this actually might be a little bit more than I need. But um, because I don't want to keep it for another time, it's got fish bacteria in it. And uh, I don't feel like it would be very safe. So I always want to use fresh. But before I dredge my uh, fish, I'll be getting my skillet ready and I use quite a bit of lard. That's what I fry it in. Now you can use oil and I have used oil plenty of time, but I'm kind of on a kick of using lard for all of my frying because I think it's better than some of the oils that they make like vegetable oil, which is soybean oil. And I also have made lard on my own property by the hog that I butchered and rendered down the lard so I feel like it's kind of more local and natural. As my lard melts and my skillet starts getting hot then I'll get my fish into my corn flour start coating it After I get several pieces, then I'll start now putting it in there. Now I want my my uh, grease fairly hot, but I don't certainly don't want to burn or cook it too fast where it's uh, done on the outside and raw in the middle. So that's kind of a you have to learn how to to judge for yourself whether it's too hot or not hot enough. So I'm just going to scatter this fish around in here and get it started cooking. Well, I did judge pretty good because I'm coming out with almost exactly the right amount of corn flour. Now I'm going to have to wash my uh, tongs because I touched it with my fishy hands. As it starts cooking, I'll be moving it around and sometimes, you know, the outside parts don't cook as fast as the inside part. I do have it on a big burner, but it still doesn't always get out to the edge. 
When you can tell that it's started to brown on the bottom, just go ahead and flip it over. Keep cooking. As it cooks some more, I generally will turn it again, and I'll often turn it over again. To get it more crispy. And you can see this go round, it's a little bit browner. For our lunch, I also made some potato salad today, and this is made from stuff we grew. We grew the potatoes, we grew the onions, there's relish in there, it's a sweet bread and butter relish which I have a video about uh, with the cucumbers and onions that we grew ourselves and then it has eggs in it which are duck eggs plus I even made my own mayonnaise out of the duck eggs. Of course that has some ingredients that I didn't create myself. And then we have green beans that we grew ourselves. These are the long beans that we grew out on that trellis. And I had them in the freezer. So I've cooked them for our lunch. Well, it looks like it's time to give this fish one more turn. Just a couple more minutes on the stove. And we'll be good. It after you start cooking it, for the most part, it takes 15 and maybe 20 minutes. I actually don't time it that often, but I think that's about what it's going to take. And then uh, you are going to have some thinner pieces like this. This is like the, the toward the tail. It's thin, and those are going to cook a little faster. And kick the burner down just a little bit more at this point because if it's too hot it's gonna burn pretty fast. As you feel like the pieces are done you can just take them up and if you want you can let it drain on a paper towel covered uh, plate and if you see something like this piece right here where it's light colored in there I would put that part down in the, the grease so it can cook right on that specific part. Now I usually cover that skillet with a lid to stop the smoke from coming off of it and and push it off the burner to stop the heat. Old guy gets along better with the thicker, meatier pieces and I kinda like the crispier, uh, thinner pieces. So I'll sort them out like that between us. And actually this is probably going to be a little bit more than we need for our one meal. So what you can do if you have leftovers, it makes really good fish sandwiches. Uh, spread some mayonnaise on a piece of bread or some mustard too if you like that better and have yourself a fish sandwich. It's lunchtime in front of the computer, the TV. Almost every day we eat our lunch in front of the TV and watch the beautiful news that's going on and enjoying our, our favorite food. This year I'm getting a lot of my favorite food because we, my wife and I semi-retired this year and she's been cooking me a lot of my favorite food meals a lot. 
and today we're having one of my very favorites is fried fish. We have our channel cats fish in our lake here and we've been catching a lot of them and we've been eating a lot of them and we also have several in the freezer for our Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. And so I'm really lucky now get a lot of goodies. Bye now, we'll see you later.